Ryan Davis, the LAX hub manager. I am just here to let you know how to fly this majestic DC-3 for the Heritage Division at PanAmVA.com. It's really not that hard. You just have to know what you're doing, and I'm here to give you that knowledge. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do from the virtual cockpit is I'm going to go ahead and switch to the 2D panel. Now, unfortunately, it's a little bit screwed up, but no worries. It gets the job done. First of all, you got to set your GPS up here. Direct waypoint over. Okay, SFO. That's where we're going today. Activate. I press enter a couple times until it activates it. Okay, now that this thing is up inside the air, we're gonna go ahead and set up the GPS to tell uh, tell it where we want it to go. So you're gonna go ahead and press Z or just switch it on. Um, go ahead and press X. X is assigned to the Nav GPS toggle switch, which is not set by default in either flight simulator. So you're going to go ahead and have to go into options, controls, and do that. Then, once that's set, you want to press control N. That turns on the nav switch, which is not anywhere on the nav panel, so you're going to have to do it through the flight simulator. Now, as of right now, it is going to go ahead and turn us to get on course with the GPS, that little pink line that you see up above there. Now all we're going to have to do is we're going to have to babysit this thing until we get to the cruising altitude. The typical cruising altitude for a DC-3 is going to be about 12,000 feet, so I will get back to you when I get up there. Thank you. Okay, we have now reached our cruising altitude. I'm going to turn on the sound so you can hear the engines from all the way up here. Okay everybody, this is Ryan Davis back here to teach you how to fly the DC-6 in National Airlines livery. Okay, on this particular model, courtesy of Mr. David Grundell, our fleet man, to go ahead and set the autopilot. It's a little bit more modernized, and uh, it works really well. As you can see up here where my mouse is, there's a very nice autopilot. Set it on, altitude, hold. Set your vertical speed to whatever, it'll pretty much just hold it right there. Once again, as you can see here, the GPS is set to KSFO, but it's not going there. So you're going to want to press Shift F7 to go back to the main panel. Okay, you want to want to click on the AP symbol here, bring up the autopilot, switch that over to lock. Now that should get us on course with the uh, GPS here. Yep, and it looks like it's working pretty well. Um, so that's about it. In fact, this aircraft, just make sure your throttles are set up. Make sure you have the uh, mixture leaned to the proper amount. If I can get the uh, thing to open up here. You're going to kind of want to lean this thing down a little bit more. It's about 12% uh, ought to do it. And of course, with this typical aircraft, the cruising altitude for DC-6, 7, and V, uh, which is also the same as this, uh, you just um, tweak up that uh, altitude bug there. And uh, you should be set pretty straight. 